Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee just get crazier and crazier because this is going to be your guide to getting Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos as wild Pokemon spawns in these games. That's right, I'm not Seafoam Islands, I'm not Victory Road, I'm going to be running throughout Kanto looking for the legendary birds because once you have met a certain set of requirements, they just start spawning in the overworld and I'm trying to cheese it right now so that's kind of a point of the guide. So you might know about rare Pokemon and flying high over Kanto, I've already done guides on those, but pretty much after you defeat the Elite Four, if you have a Dragonite, Charizard, or Aerodactyl, you can fly on them and then just kind of like skip over routes and stuff and get up in the air. That's how you can find Pokemon that just leave shadows behind. So there's a Charizard, you can also find Dragonite, you've been seeing these guys running around for quite a bit. But also, if you've caught the legendary birds, by the way if you haven't you can go and check out my guide on it, I'll leave that in the description down below. Also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like, but yeah if you've caught the legendary birds, they will have a chance to spawn as well. Now one interesting thing I've noticed about the way that Pokemon spawn in the sky is they spawn in the same area and sometimes in groups, you know, you'll just have like a Pidgey spawn next to a Charizard, sometimes Dragonite and Charizard spawn together, and that's why I've been running in and out of Viridian Forest, because they always spawn in this area, and sometimes like over here, but I just like this area more because you run in and out and then you can see multiple Pokemon, but I've also been trying some other areas, and this one just has the best result. Also, I gesture with my hands, so sometimes I, I pull out Eevee like that. So what I've been doing is I've just been running in back and forth, or I've been running in and out of a building to reset these spawns. As you can see, it's pretty effective. So if we head in, head out, we'll probably see another Pokemon spawn. And if we're incredibly lucky, because Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno are super rare spawns, we'll get one of them to appear. So I'm just going to kind of go and soft reset, but there's also a few other things that you can do to make this better. Using a lure increases the odds of rare Pokemon spawns, even if you've already increased it through catch combos. So yeah, there's Charizard spawning next to a Pidgey. I don't even want to know how low the odds are of getting one of these guys. But now what we can do is head into Viridian Forest and increase our odds of getting Moltres, Articuno, or Zapdos. Yeah, you heard me right, because they count as rare Pokemon, so they are affected by lures, and they are affected by catch combos. As I mentioned in my catch combo video, if you get a catch combo of about 11, rare Pokemon spawns are a bit more likely. So if you actually get to 11 on that, you can find Charizard, Dragonite, Bulbasaur, all these Pokemon that are pretty hard to find otherwise, and they're just kind of wandering around. Well, for Molt Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos, you need to max out that rare spawn. Maxing out the rare spawn happens at a catch combo of 31. Now, I'm way more into that on a Weedle right now for some other videos and other experiments, but uh, if you get a catch combo of 31, you can do that in Viridian Forest pretty quickly. That's when you just want to go and start the soft resetting for getting a legendary Pokemon. Now, I'm just going to kind of keep going back and forth. I'm going to tell you approximately how long it took, because I've been doing this for about 15 minutes now, and I still don't have a legendary bird. So, uh, I'll just see you guys when we have it, and I'll show you guys what that encounter is like. Actually, I want to try something real quick, but it might be slower, however it might work out. Did you know that if you use a, a Repel, and then you use a Lure, it's going to clear all the Pokemon that are active, and then that means it's going to respawn them. I want to see if it, like, respawns them in really quick, because the, the biggest problem with, like, having to do the reset through the door is that it takes a bit of time on the loading. So if you want to speed it up by just a little, you know, make it just slightly, ever so slightly faster. It does cost 800 Poké Dollars each, so it depends on how much of a baller you are and how much you can keep this up. It's a lot more intensive as well than just kind of running in and out, and I don't think it's going to be as crazy. Like, it does work. It is successful for getting a Pokémon to appear, and maybe if you're playing, like, in handheld mode, it might feel a little easier to do than just, like, on the one hand. So, it'll be, it is slightly faster. It does feel slightly faster this way. As for getting the Pokémon... Not really too sure. So yeah, you go in, and then you go back, and then you run out, and then you check. I want to say that that's, you know, slightly, slightly longer than that. Also, don't make sure to not use Repel if a Legendary Bird spawns. I mean, I've been getting a lot of Charizard and Dragonite. been doing this for 20 minutes now. Still nothing on those Legendary Birds. Have Lures active, and that's the thing. Also, by doing this, you are saving Lures instead of just running around the area. And hope I have to get I have to show you this guys like I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be a lame Poketuber and then do a guide where it's like here's the news you can find legendary Pokemon and then show someone else a screenshot now nah, I'm getting it for myself oh my god like three seconds later we have a Moltres oh my heart I actually felt it skip beats I was like look it up like that is a very I also had to pause it because I don't want them despawning on me so here's another word of advice the second you catch any of the legendary birds, you run out to Route 3, Route 4, you get yourself a Charmander. 
you change the Pokemon, you run out there, you get a Charmander, and then you make sure it evolves into a Charizard, so then you can go and have a Charizard so you can always fly up just in case something happens. So, tw I actually, I think I need to do the amount, like, it takes. There's probably gonna be, like, numbers onto actual rarity, but after about 20 minutes of just running inside, maybe a little less than that, I, I wanted to overestimate it to be safe. I see fire. And I, I saw a strange shadow, so you have to be- Oh my god! Rattata, why? Oh, Pidgey. Oh god, there's a Pidgey and a Rattata ganging up on me. I just want- I just want it, guys. Just, just let me have it. Boom! Moltres. I also think it's a special size. Huge! Oh man, it's a huge Moltres. Uh, wait. Do, can we actually feed this guy berries? Cause you can't- you can't feed the- the other encounter ones berries. Does, is that supposed to be for diff- Oh! Oh! You can. Okay. I. It's gonna be so terrible if I fail this and it ends up running away. Oh, did that burn off the berries? Oh, oof. please calm down, Moltres. You're scaring me. Oh, that's an that's an excellent throw. All right, guys. We got the excellent Moltres throw. We threw the Ultra Ball, and this might be a little more difficult than I thought. And you gotta. I don't want to waste my Golden Raspberry, but I mean, you gotta be quick. You gotta use it not when it's attacking, because that's what burns it up. Yeah, so it is effectively the same mechanics as the other Legendary Encounter, but is it the same catch rate? Is it slightly easier? Oh no. We're gonna be here for a while until this guy decides he's had enough of me. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous. It's so rare. Oh god. It's so rare. And whenever it moves, I feel like it's go it's, it's moving around, it's bouncing up and down, this is one of the harder catches to do. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm pa I'm panicking. Actually, I should bring out the Pokeball Plus because Joy-Con is a lot harder to aim with this. Every time it makes an action, I feel like it's just going to poof away. I, I would hope that Game Freak was nice enough to make it to where they don't vanish. Or at least, you know, you, they give you a couple times where they're just sitting there for free. Give it. Give it. Oh, man. I, I really wanted to show this so I can also see, like, oh, if it comes with, like, guaranteed IVs, how the stats look. Uh, what candies and rewards you end up getting. But yeah, my Joy-Con is freaking out right now. I don't like it. Oh. Okay. Again, three shakes. Uh, how long is this Moltres going to put up with me is the question. Seems like it can do it for a while. Oh, that, that was just a terrible throw. Question. Do I use my Master Ball now? Because, like, it's going to go to waste if I don't use it at some point. Uh, Madame Celadon is also something you can do to get the right natures and stuff. That was a decent throw, but you have to really throw this hard, too, to get up to Moltres. Hmm. Go! Ooh, nice capture. That feels better. That feels better. Alright, so it looks like they don't straight flee too much, and we caught it. Alright. Alright, so I, I panicked a lot. I don't think it mattered. Only get three smart candy. Base experience is around 800 for level 57 legendary. Uh, Weedle's now going to go and grab a ton of levels, so... I was about to say, we might, we might be here for a while, but that's not, that's not really the worst that could happen. Except we do have to go through all this, uh, level gain. And then I want to just, I want to open up. I want to see how this Moltres compares to the other Moltres that you get throughout the story. And that's going to be it. So, wow, I did it. And I thought, I thought it was going to be a bit rarer. But now the question is, like, hey, do you chain this mofo? Because now it's going to be like six times harder to get. But if you chain it, that's max IV. Well, not potentially max IV. But that's IVs. That's Moltres candy. That's a lot of weird stuff. Um, so yeah, Pokemon box. Go to the bottom. And then like that's how you can get it shiny or something. It'd probably take longer to get it shiny through this method by chaining it. But then imagine if you're getting Moltres spawning very frequently because you've caught so many Moltres. Even, no, even then. I, actually, no. I don't think there's any point to it. Because... When you're doing other chains and you have like a catch combo of 11 or something, those Pokemon spawn pretty much consistently. But with Moltres, this was a catch combo of 31 for a separate Pokemon, and it still took 20 minutes. I think catch comboing Moltres is impossible, or Legendary Bird is impossible. Um, also, what if another Legendary Bird appears just through RNG? That's not good. So, yeah. No guaranteed IVs. It's just kind of for the collection. And maybe being like like getting a shiny charm and then having the one in two thousand odds on like the one in ten thousand odds of getting this guy to spawn to then maybe see it shiny in the overworld. All right, so that's how you get the legendary birds in the overworld. It's real, it's crazy. Not sure how to feel about it. 
that's not even going to look good for the thumbnail. And you can do lures and stuff. So, guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. Kind of can't believe I did it.